I had to fight for my life, and the, the stilettos I were wearing was wearing Where served very Where well. I'm a little bit worried now, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's where she was really going to kick. Like, you see that? There's a need for a man with his ego to destroy another man. I felt that that wasn't what I wanted my life to be. Did you know you're not armed if you're not carrying a knife or gun? Did you know even common fashion accessories such as high heels, a purse, or a belt can be used as weapons? Today, Kung Fu Master Sifu Toy and actress Melanie Marden are here to show us how. And later in the show, actor Marcus Patrick will join us. Pleasure to have you here today, Sifu. Nice, love me. Melanie. Hi, Greg. Mm -hmm. So I hear you have been doing Kung Fu since before you could walk. Is that right? Uh, that's correct. Yeah, I'm, I'm the seventh generation of master from father to son. So, uh, In fact, you told me that you were like the last living descendant of, of one the Choi, of the... Choi family. Yeah, one of the fa five family uh, that has created Kung Fu. The, the, you said there are five families yeah. that created Kung Fu, mm -hmm. and you're the last living so, descendant. Of one of them, yeah. Wow. And you grew up in a, a Kung Fu household. Yep. That's correct. Our house was based on Kung Fu training and every details of the house has been built regarding the Kung Fu training. And, well, why don't you tell them what that means? Because you, you said beforehand that you had a 250 pound bag, bag in the door. In the door uh, in my, of my room, uh -huh. as a door. Yeah, I need to get As a in, kid. As a kid, I need to get in my room using the left hand and then the right hand to go you out. You push a 250 push pound bag. How, how old were you when you were doing 10. this? 10 years old, mm -hmm. pushing the 250 pound bag every time you're going in and out of the door of, in your, and out, yeah. of your bedroom. Uh -huh. So Karate Kid has nothing on you then. <laughs> no, it's a piece of cake. <laughs> oh my God. So you really have the whole family. But so now, so now you've got the whole armed and fashion thing going on. So you're mm -hmm. turning your background from Kung Fu into really, so that someone, you know, no offense, Melanie, but we all, you know, women is maybe not, have, the guys have a physical advantage over the women. Mm -hmm. But you can even things out. Yeah. First, I don't think men have advantage about it. On, uh, on women, even on, okay. uh, on, the, on the thing, because Kung Fu Master is not only for men, sometimes uh, there is women, and they are very powerful too. Really? Okay. But the basic of armed and fashion is to use what you wear to self-defense, because people are trying to, to find something else, like a dog, a bodyguard, you were talking yes. about a bodyguard, <laughs> yeah. a dog, a gun, a gun <laughs> and, and all those things are not with you 24-7, you know? Right. Well, and I want to say, Melanie, you actually had an experience when you were living in Canada. You're I both did. in Canada. Yeah. Where you, without even knowing anything about Sifu's system, you had to implement your own system. You know, you use what you have when you have it, I guess. And yeah, I proved effective with a really big chunky heel. <laughs> <laughs> but what, somebody, you had a problem with I a did. guy. I did. Somebody was stalking me for a little while, and he decided to go for the gold and take me home. And. Mm -hmm. I had to fight for my life, and the, the stilettos I were wearing was wearing or served very or well. And you said yeah. something you were able to like he was trying to pull you out the door or something. Yeah, so I, heel my there. heel I actually lodged in the doorway and held onto the handle on the inside, mm -hmm. but the heel allowed me the, the space to reach in and grab the handle. So I, I did well. <laughs> Great. So armed you know, and because, fashioned. Yeah, it's armed and fashioned because people d don't know at the very end of the heel there is nine times your body weight and pressure. Nine times. Right there. So if you weigh a hundred pounds, maybe less. Probably less. <laughs> Let's stick with 100. That, that, mean, that means you got 900 pounds of pressure to hit. By the way, you said this guy's in jail now. Yes, he is. Yeah. Okay. No need to worry anybody. Okay, mm. And I should say, though, as an actor, so you do your own stunts a lot on the set, is that right? Um, as often as it's safe that I do so. Yeah, I love, I love what he does and, and, and the study of it and doing it on set is so much fun and being physically challenged. It's do you have any kind of a martial arts background? or Very minimal. I mean, I, I, I don't even want to talk <laughs> about it with him sitting here. Well, oh you got the God. master right here. You're in the Hall of right? Fame. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. You were just inducted into the Hall of Fame the year after Bruce Lee? Yeah, you the were year after Bruce Lee, yeah. I was the only one uh, alive to be inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2006. Wow. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Because most of the time, you're, you're dead. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you're so I'm glad you're, glad, glad you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no, a better interview. Because I've been inducted into the World Martial Arts Hall of Fame that, that include any martial arts discipline. That's why it's different. So the, this, mar this Hall of Fame is very difficult to reach. So uh, usually you're... Well, most are. Yeah. yeah. And I should say, you were working with the Olympics um, to help develop a team for America. And in Canada, you helped uh -huh. build a, what? The build up a came, uh, can world you, champion? Yeah, they are world country? champions since 2005 in both men and women division. So they are quite powerful for us. And you just moved to the U.S. and you're trying to do the same thing here? Or, or yeah, been, create a U.S. Also. national team and being able to, uh, to be around the world and be number one. 
And in Canada, you also had your Action Movie Academy. Action Movie Academy, I got 17 schools in Canada. I've got uh, one school in Michigan. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and the Action Academy is very uh, interesting because I'm training actors to uh, and for the movie. So for Melanie, movies, you can sign up for the I'm, Action I'm Academy. I'm already signed up. Yeah. <laughs> She's already in. I'm on the email list. <laughs> but that's what it, but training actors for the, the action roles, yeah, kind of martial arts, fighting all that. Si- fight scenes, and training actors and makes them quite uh, agile to be able to perform on it. Yeah. Well, now Melanie, I know two of your recent movies were one was Final Draft with uh, James Vanderbeek. Yes. Now, do you have to do any fighting or stunts for that? No. <laughs> what did you do for that? Um, I played his fantasy girl, so there was. Oh. He isn't the guy you had to. a sexy wardrobe in that one. <laughs> he wasn't the guy who was following you home, was it? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Clear that up. Okay. No, yeah, that was. Um, it, it's about. It's a very dark, disturbing piece. He's a writer, and he's trying to put together his final draft, and he locks himself in his house and gets a little cooped up, crazy, and starts imagining things to be. And I am imagined as his fantasy girl, so. It's a little bit of lingerie in that piece. Ah. And then what's this other one, Pigs? Pigs is a romantic comedy. It's a ro- all Of course, Canadian a romantic talent. comedy, Pigs. Yeah. Thank you. And it's about men being pigs. And it's about <laughs> oh, this really cute. <laughs> See, um, you're saying about around Kung Fu Master here. I'm Are like, you saying the Kung Fu I'm Master? I'm protecting is, myself yeah. as I say it. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> um, it's, it's a romantic comedy about a young boy in college who decides to have sex with a girl for every letter in the alphabet. Oh. And I am the dreaded X. So it's, it's actually What was your cute. name? Gabrielle Zeropoulos with an X. Hmm. I was Greek. Did you have any stunts in this one? Or? Um, no, I played a mechanic. A mechanic? Putting myself through college. No stunts required. Hmm. Mutant X was the only thing that I did my own stunts for. That That's was, right. Now that was what, a um, sci-fi? Yeah, it was, uh, it's like a spin-off from X-Men with uh-huh. the, you know, the powers and I played um, kind of like a vixen with cat powers, and I could jump really high, and lots of wire work, and uh, extraordinary powers and strength. So, so that one sounds very physical. It was fun. Yeah, it was awesome. And you did most of the stunts yourself? I did them or? all. I did them all. Yeah. And didn't Whoa. get hurt or anything, or? Um, well, I was fighting a guy who's about six foot two, Victor mm. Webster. We spoke about oh, him yeah. earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. And he has some torque behind his uh, pool cue when he's swinging it. So it was. Victor b- punch beat you up. Is yeah, that what you're it was saying? a little rough with me. Can, can the, I, I hope get you, got you to back. talk to him for me? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Victor, you better watch out. He's I do. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't mean to. I mean, you get caught up in the moment when you're on set and you're in your character, and he didn't realize. But he was he was great. He was great to work with. And I know you've also done modeling, yeah. as, um, all over the place. But also, um, you have your spas. I do. I run a beautiful spa um, here in West Hollywood. And uh, called the Senza, and I'm doing uh, a new business, a uh, mobile business, where we're bringing the spa to you, so that it's a little more convenient to these busy people in Hollywood. And I think you're working on a reality project around that. Yes, yeah. I've written a show around this new business, and I'm looking to probably head to France to try and distribute it there first, okay. and then come back and sell it in the states. Overseas. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right. Well, up next, we're going to have Sifu and Melanie show us how you can be armed and fashioned. We'll be right back. And we are back. Today, Kung Fu Master Sifu Toy and actress Melanie Martin are going to show you how to be armed and fashioned, how common fashion accessories can help defend you in a sticky situation. So what have you got for us, Sifu? Yeah, we got a, fur- a purse. Everybody has, every lady has a purse. <laughs> yeah, um, I was going to say, you know, I don't have one today. So yeah, I, but I was thinking about the briefcase or the suitcase. Briefcase, okay. You can use laptop it. Laptop case. Laptop yeah, case, yeah. that's a laptop that's very good, you know. Be poof, that's very powerful. So what you need to know is how to use it. So you just bring it the power in front of you from the left to the right or right to the left. Then use the other end to stop your purse and push it back. You see? Wow. And it goes really fast. And, okay. of course, those ladies have a bunch of stuff. So that the purse. Even. I emptied it just for safety. Oh, you emptied measures. it. Oh, you should. Okay. So, the, so we wouldn't kill anybody. Right. And even okay. once it's, it's heavy, it's like a hammer, you know. So just melee. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. 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 Let's the right side to yeah. the left in front and use. Okay, so if the bad guy's there, then yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah, that's and correct. Kill him. You see, that's easy <laughs> stuff. You just, so just, but you still need to practice because when the, the purse is, very, is loaded, maybe you need to 
be aware of the power you need. Okay, so practice. And is, practice. so what, what does this hand do? Why are, you, why are you swinging into the hand? Why not because, just swinging? No, because if you just swing it, it'll hit you. It will hit you. I see. Okay. You need to stop so don't, it. So don't attack yourself. No, of course. And you want to be <laughs> fast. You want to be as fast as possible. You know, that's very important to be and stop the, at the very end of the movement. The bad guy is right there. So if you hit the bad guy, then the purse doesn't, you don't need. This could actually be like aerobics at home. You could get up, you know, and you when you're watching the, TV, the you can purse fitness, swing kung fu purse. training. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm thinking we should make a video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should. He's got a DVD, by the way. Right. Urban fashion. Yeah, I'm quite sure we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and there is another move I can show you. It's the upper move. Okay? okay? You use it, and you do the same. You stop the purse with the hand, and then you see, oh, that's And fast. what is it? And you I hit mean, the chin. So you're aiming for the chin. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, okay. So like an undercut. Uh-huh. Look out, mister. Wow, that's that very okay? good. Yeah, that's very good. I'm impressed. She's very powerful, you know. <laughs> and this is only yeah, for self-defense, right? This is this only is for self-defense. Okay, yeah. okay. And the 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 other move I can show you is the non-stop move. You use, you use the eight shape to do that. So you hit the guy from right to left, and you don't stop. You come back from left to right. But use all always use the 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 hand of the end part of the purse because it's more powerful. Because this way is not powerful enough. This way is more powerful. So it's good to carry a big purse. You should carry the bigger it's the purse, not the bad. better. Yeah, not but bad. you need to carry a purse that you will be able to use it. If it's too heavy and you're not able to, to aim the bad guy with it. Doesn't and do you just do whatever you can do in the situation, or is there a reason you use one of those, the eight versus the up? There's a reason. The that's, that's the basic of the training, using the DVD to train, because okay. you need to know when you use Specific this situations yeah. about what the guy's doing. Yeah. Self-defense doesn't come without any training. Okay. okay, people just think, well, they want the magic stuff. It doesn't exist. You need to train. That's why we are called master. Well, what do we do? I mean, the purse is great, and I think it, it's a great weapon for girls. But what do we do if they're behind me? Aha, uh -huh. very good point. So what you need to use? Your high heel. Ooh. All right, now this one I want to see. Okay, okay. I'm yeah. kind of waiting for this one. So I, told, I told you she about... She has experience with this. She's, she's very right? good. She told me her story earlier. I was impressed because even so, she used it. And you use the, the, nine, the 9 G, the 9 times the weight power. Right. To, if someone is coming behind you, what you need to do is just <laughs> mm -hmm, kick so on your top. Stomp wow. on the foot. Stomp. Okay. Yeah, on the foot. So that's it. Wow, you see? All right. That's over. But now you were actually hitting him with it. Oh, no, no, or no, no. You were, you were no, blocking it, the door. It, I literally hooked my foot in a door. In the door, I so see. So that I could okay. stop him from taking me elsewhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, do you do anything else with the shoe? You just—I yeah. mean, I'm this is this is one work, kick. But that, okay. Yeah, okay. it's working. It's very powerful because okay. you can you can imagine if you are hit only by the heel. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh, sure. It's very dangerous. I've stepped on it in my bedroom and it hurts, so I can't imagine being hit. With it. <laughs> so you can the the basic thing is you know how to kick uh -huh. using the heel. Okay, so you need to get some balance to kick knee up and then kick using the heel. Bring the, the toes yeah. toward you, okay? I don't wear high heels. No, that's, that's the same. Anyway. If you have a man's shoe, the, the heel is very hard. Still. So I could Still. do it with my tennis, too. Of course. But the, the advantage, then they are advantages. Be warned. Yeah. <laughs> and then the 